what constitutes reality. For millennia, intellectuals, philosophers, and scientists have struggled to answer this important issue. Reality, as we understand it, is a tapestry created from sensory experiences, ideas, and beliefs. But is this tapestry the genuine substance of what exists, or is it just a product of our imaginations? To solve this riddle, we must go across the domains of metaphysics, encountering many views such as idealism, materialism, and phenomenology. Imagine waking up one day and discovering that all you know is an illusion. The chair you sit in, the people you contact, and even the earth under your feet are all made up. This unpleasant concept is the foundation of one of philosophy's most famous thought experiments, the brain in a vat. It suggests that you may be little more than a brain kept alive in a container, fed your experiences by a supercomputer. How would you know if this is true? This quandary emphasizes the primary issue of comprehending reality, separating what is genuine from what seems to be real. At the center of our inquiry is the idea of perception. Our senses sight, hearing, touch, taste, and smell are our major connections to the outside world. They give us a continual stream of information that our brain uses to develop a cohesive picture of our environment. However, this image is not a literal portrayal of the outside world, but rather an interpretation. Optical illusions, mirages, and dreams all demonstrate how our senses may be fooled. As a result, our sense of reality is fundamentally subjective and flawed. Idealism, one of the first philosophical systems of thought, takes subjectivity to its logical conclusion. Proponents of idealism, such as George Berkeley, believe that reality is primarily mental. According to Berkeley, things exist solely in the sense that they are experienced. In his famous adage, CST percipi to be is to be perceived, he implies that the existence of everything is contingent on its perception by a conscious mind. This viewpoint poses fascinating concerns regarding the nature of existence and the observer's involvement in shaping reality. However, idealism is not without criticism. Materialism takes a very different approach, claiming that reality is made up of actual substance that exists independently of human senses. Materialists see the cosmos as a huge, objective entity regulated by physical rules. Everything, including awareness, results from the interplay of matter and energy. Materialists contend that our perceptions are just the consequence of complicated neurological processes in the brain, which are in turn influenced by the physical environment. While materialism offers a solid foundation for comprehending the physical world, it fails to account for the subjective character of consciousness. How can a network of neurons generate the diverse fabric of ideas, emotions, and experiences that constitute our inner lives? This subject, known as the hard problem of consciousness, is still one of the deepest puzzles in philosophy and science. Phenomenology, a philosophical theory created by Edmund Husserl, attempts to bridge the gap between idealism and materialism by concentrating on the structures of experience. Rather than attempting to derive reality from abstract principles or factual evidence, phenomenology begins with personal experience. Husserl said that by studying our present experience without prior assumptions, we might discover the underlying structures that underpin all perceptions. This strategy, known as epiche or bracketing, seeks to disclose the essence of occurrences as they emerge in awareness. Continuing our investigation, we explore further into the perplexing nature of reality, studying how many philosophical traditions and scientific ideas contribute to our knowledge. This chapter will go further into the various layers that make up our perspective on existence, using ideas from both ancient wisdom and current science. One of the most fundamental concerns in metaphysics is whether there is an objective reality that exists irrespective of our brains. As previously established, the materialist viewpoint holds that such an objective reality exists and that our experiences are just reflections of the external world. However, this viewpoint is challenged by a variety of philosophical arguments that call into question the entire concept of objectivity. Consider the well-known thought experiment using Schrodinger's cat. In this scenario, 
A cat is put in an enclosed box with a radioactive atom, a Jiger detector, and a poison vial. The atom has an equal probability of decaying or not decaying during a certain time period. If it decays, the Jiger counter releases the poison, which kills the cat. If it does not rot, the cat will survive. According to quantum theory, until the box is opened and an observation is made, the cat is in a condition of both life and death. This paradox emphasizes the importance of the observer in influencing the state of reality, implying that the act of observing itself may change the nature of existence. Quantum physics, with its probabilistic character and the idea of wave-particle duality, challenges our understanding of reality. Particles, like electrons, have both wave-like and particle-like qualities, depending on how they are seen. This duality calls into question our traditional understandings of reality, blurring the distinction between observer and observer. The well-known double-slit experiment indicates that particle behavior varies when viewed, demonstrating that quantum reality is not stable, but rather depends on human interactions with it. This merging of observation and reality is repeated in pragmatist philosophy, notably in William James' writings. Pragmatism stresses the practical repercussions of our ideas and theories, arguing that a proposition's validity is determined by its utility and application. Pragmatists see reality as a dynamic process formed by our interactions and experiences rather than an abstract, unchanging object. This viewpoint is consistent with the notion that our perspective of reality is always growing, impacted by our actions and the results they cause. While these philosophical approaches provide useful insights, the issue of what is really real remains unclear. The simulation hypothesis, championed by people like Nick Bostrom, offers a radical solution. Our world might be an artificial simulation constructed by a highly evolved society. According to this concept, the cosmos as we know it might be a sophisticated computer program that generates our experiences using intricate algorithms. If this is accurate, it implies that the physical world is a virtual creation rather than the ultimate reality. Despite its speculative character, the simulation theory raises significant issues regarding the nature of existence and our position in it. How can we tell the difference between simulated and real reality? What would it imply for our sense of self and purpose if we discovered that our reality is a simulation? These problems force us to examine the bounds of reality and the degree to which our perceptions influence our knowledge of existence. Finally, the effort to grasp reality is a continuing journey characterized by constant inquiry and discovery. As we negotiate the complexity of perception, awareness, and the physical cosmos, we are reminded of the tremendous mystery that underpins existence. Each viewpoint, whether idealist, materialist, phenomenological, or pragmatic, provides a distinct lens through which to investigate the nature of reality. By accepting the variety of different points of view, we may get a better understanding of the world we live in. As we go further into the philosophical inquiry of reality, we come across the complex interaction between the mind and the outside world. This chapter will look at how our mental processes, beliefs, and cultural surroundings influence our experience of reality, using concepts from psychology, sociology, and anthropology. Our sense of reality is not a passive absorption of sensory information, but rather an active creation influenced by our cognitive processes. The human brain is a great translator, continuously sifting, organizing, and making sense of the massive amount of information it receives. This process is impacted by our previous experiences, expectations, and cultural background, resulting in a highly personalized and subjective perception of reality. Optical illusions are a vivid illustration of this subjectivity. Optical illusions arise when our brain's perception of visual information differs from the real qualities of the stimulus. These illusions demonstrate the intricate mechanics by which our brain creates our visual experience, emphasizing the distinction between perception and reality. They remind us that what we perceive is not a direct reflection of the outside world, but rather a manufactured reality formed by our cognitive processes. 
cognitive psychology investigates how our mental frames, or schemas, shape our experience and comprehension of the world. Schemas are mental frameworks that help us organize and understand information, influencing our expectations and reactions. They filter and categorize our encounters, which helps shape our reality. For example, our cultural background and personal experiences might affect our social interaction schemas, impacting how we perceive and interpret other people's behavior. The sociological approach broadens this concept by investigating how social institutions and cultural norms impact our shared experience. Social constructivism, a prominent theory in sociology, contends that many parts of the human world are socially built via common ideas, practices, and institutions. Gender, ethnicity, and social positions are not intrinsic characteristics of people, but are created via social interactions and cultural narratives. This viewpoint encourages us to acknowledge the significance of the social environment in constructing our sense of reality, as well as the power dynamics that shape these creations. Anthropology provides further insights into the variety of human experiences and the various ways in which different cultures perceive and build reality. Cross-cultural studies show that notions of time, space, and identity may vary greatly between countries. Some indigenous cultures, for example, see time in a cyclical rather than linear fashion, and some societies value communal identity above individuals. These variances show the cultural relativity of our perceptions, as well as the need to interpret reality in its cultural context. The study of altered states demonstrates the connection between mind and reality, of awareness, meditation, hypnosis, and the use of psychedelic chemicals may all cause altered states that fundamentally alter our experience of reality. These experiences often contradict our traditional conception of the self and the external world, implying that our normal waking awareness is just one way of perceiving reality. Research into these states provides important insights into the nature of consciousness and the possibility of increasing our knowledge of reality. As we traverse this complex interaction, we come into the philosophical term of phenomenology once again. Phenomenology stresses the significance of lived experience and the first-person viewpoint in comprehending reality. Phenomenology aims to discover the essential essence of occurrences by concentrating on the structures of experience as they are immediately observed. This method invites us to reflect thoroughly on our own experiences and challenge the assumptions that drive our view of reality. Finally. The discovery of reality is a multidimensional endeavor that involves a variety of disciplines and viewpoints. Each perspective, whether based on cognitive psychology, sociology, anthropology, or philosophy, provides vital insights into the complex and dynamic nature of reality. By accepting this variety of thinking, we may gain a more nuanced and thorough awareness of our surroundings, as well as the complex interaction between mind and reality. In our last chapter, we will attempt to reconcile the diverse viewpoints on reality and investigate the broader ramifications of our metaphysical research. As we weave together the threads of idealism, materialism, phenomenology, and the interaction of mind and reality, we are faced with the deep mystery that is at the center of life. Throughout our voyage, we've seen how several philosophical traditions and scientific theories provide diverse perspectives on the nature of reality. Idealism forces us to evaluate the primacy of awareness and the role of perception in shaping reality. Materialism anchors us in the physical world by stressing the objective nature of matter and energy. Phenomenology allows us to investigate the structures of experience and the first-person viewpoint exposing the depth and complexity of our everyday world. Despite these many perceptions, the ultimate essence of reality remains mysterious. Each viewpoint contributes vital parts to the jigsaw, but no one perspective gives a comprehensive picture. This awareness necessitates a modest and open-minded attitude toward our research, one that values variety of opinion and stays open to new ideas and findings. One of the most important things we learned from our investigation was the value of accepting our knowledge's limitations. The issue of what is real may never be entirely resolved, 
and doubt is an essential component of the human experience. Embracing uncertainty may be liberating because it pushes us to stay interested and open to the wonders of life. It serves as a reminder that the quest for knowledge is a never-ending process of learning and progress. Furthermore, the interaction of mind and world emphasizes the active role we play in creating our reality. Our perceptions, beliefs, and behaviors all help to shape how we live our lives. This insight enables us to accept responsibility for our own reality, challenge our preconceptions, and seek better knowledge. It inspires us to approach the world with surprise and curiosity, accepting the complexities and ambiguities that constitute our lives. As we wrap up our spiritual journey, we are reminded of the interconnection of all things. Reality is not a static, separate thing, but rather a complex fabric of events, perceptions, and relationships. Each moment is a chance to increase our knowledge, connect with others, and contemplate the immense wonder of life. Finally, understanding reality is more than just an academic exercise. It is also a profoundly emotional and transformational experience. It encourages us to address our deepest questions, push the limits of our knowledge, and appreciate the beauty and complexity of the world around us. By combining ideas from multiple viewpoints and keeping open to the unknown, we may develop a fuller and more meaningful knowledge of reality. As you reflect on this voyage, Think about how your own thoughts and ideas create your world. What assumptions do you have regarding the nature of existence? How do your experiences and cultural backgrounds shape your perception of the world? Engaging with these issues and accepting a variety of opinions allows you to begin on your own path of discovery, constantly improving your awareness of the great mystery at the center of existence. The nature of reality, with its many layers and unfathomable secrets, is one of philosophy's most interesting and persistent concerns. It encourages us to push the limits of our knowledge, to question our preconceptions, and to appreciate the richness and complexity of life. As we embark on this journey, let us stay inquiring, open-minded, and modest, acknowledging that the search for knowledge is a continuous and changing process. This allows us to develop a better appreciation for the beauty and wonder of the world we live in as well as the profound mystery at the center of reality.